All right, I just want to do a quick video on uh, making your RC car faster. So, obviously an easy way to make your RC car faster would be just to put a bigger motor and ESC in it. Well, you know, if you want a good size brushless motor, you're talking $100 for the motor, probably $60, $70, $80 for the ESC. So I was going to go over a few things about the best way to get the most performance out of your RC vehicle without uh, upgrading the motor. Because that's what I know about, because in stock class, we're stuck with a 17.5 or 13.5 depending on what kind of stock class they're at. So first we'll start out, I'll explain something to you guys. What you want to reduce is your rotating mass. So weight will always make your vehicle faster, but not just weight because you're, when you lighten something, the horsepower to weight ratio becomes better. So it'll go faster. You still have the same horsepower, but it's lighter so it can, it, it can move faster. So it's pretty much just a simple, simple way to think about it. Now, not all weight removal uh, creates the same kind of increase. And what, I'm, what I mean by that is that rotational mass is key. So here is a gear from a team associated transmission. See it? This is a ball diff, obviously, gear. Now, you can see how thick this gear is, okay? Now, let me show you a narrowed gear, which would reduce your rotational mass, and that is the key kind of weight you want to be reducing as much as possible. So you see the difference in the two gears, see how narrow one is? Kind of give you guys a good view here. That's the difference. This is a stock one, this is a narrowed one. And if you just do a little research on your line online for your kind of vehicle, you could probably find stuff like this. So this is just a narrowed gear, and this is a ball diff. Both of these are ball diffs, obviously. And this is a narrowed gear. So this would reduce the rotating mass, which would give would be way better than just reducing the same kind of weight from somewhere else on the truck. You'll get more performance out of it. And I'm not saying that if you put narrow gears in your truck, you're able to tell the difference, because one little thing like that's not going to make a big difference. It's going to take a lot of little things. But that's just one way to reduce the rotational mass, the rotating mass of your vehicle. Okay, another way is obviously your axles. So this is a stock steel and the SC5M axle. And they have T5M axles, okay? As you can see, this axle is solid, it's steel, it's heavy. I'm not going to take mine off my truck, but I'll bring my truck up a little closer. Now you can see this is an Exotec. I've kind of showed this off in one of my other videos. But let me take the... so you can see it a little better. Now you can see it. That's an Exotec Titanium front axle. So that rotates. You can even see the holes drilled in it. That reduces the rotating mass a lot. So that's a huge one for me. So rotational mass is key. That's one way, another way you can do it. Also, another way to reduce rotational mass, this is your top drive. This is an MIP, what they call an Echo 17.5, all-in-one top drive. So this will work with four gear transmissions, three gear transmissions, and this thing is super light. Like, I can't even tell you how light this is. And these are just a few parts that's going to go in my three-gear transmission for my SE5M here. I've already made a three-gear transmission for my T5M. I'll do a video on that and what all I put in it to kind of give you guys an idea to give you an awesome transmission. But Yeah, so that's another way to reduce the rotating mass. Smaller, lighter top shaft. Maybe if you have a steel one, go to aluminum. Okay. And this is another way. This is an idler. Idler gear. Uh, what do they call it? Pin, maybe? Idler gear pin. So what happens is, um, let me find it here. So here's your idler gear right here. What happens is the bearings go in this gear and then this goes in the middle like that. Now this is, this may be aluminum maybe, but you can get these in carbon fiber. Jamming, let me uh, think of the name, I'm sure I got that right. Uh, Jamming Products. They make a carbon fiber idler shaft like this. And see, when you reduce your rotating mass on your gears, you can also do it in your idler gear. So here's a good example of that. See the difference between the two, the width? These are idler, idler gears for Team Associated, obviously. And you can see the difference in the gears, the width in these. This is a narrowed gear, reducing our rotational mass. 
you take this thing, whoops, you get rid of that little pin and you get a carbon fiber one, that'll reduce your rotating mass, along with, this is a pretty common one, pretty easy to do, just lug nuts. This is just a, a steel lug nut, and here is an aluminum lug nut. So that's another easy way to just reduce your rotating mass. Um, and other things to do, you can do tons of things to reduce weight. Here's a quick example. Here's a, a, a motor plate that is super thick and heavy, and here's a carbon fiber motor plate. This is made by uh, Jamin Products as well, this carbon fiber motor plate. This is a factory, factory one, but there's another way to reduce some weight. But like I said, this is, this is what I would do last. The first thing I would do is reduce your rotational mass. Uh, like I said before, gears. Uh, top shaft, um, lug nuts is easy one without breaking down your transmission, idler gears, axles are easy as well. Lug nuts and axles are probably the easiest, the rest of it's kind of in depth. And there's some other ways as well, but I just want to make a quick video to kind of give everybody a little bit of ideas of, of um, ways to do, reduce your rotational mass. That's the key. Because if the motor doesn't have to move, if what it's moving, spinning, can be lighter, it can do it quicker and quicker. It's pretty simple. But, uh, yeah, and like I said, you do one of these things, you're probably not gonna tell the difference. You start doing a lot to them, you're gonna start telling the difference. You're gonna see how much quicker your truck is, how much faster off the line is, especially compared to everybody else's. But yeah, I just wanna do a quick video about uh, reducing rotational mass and how important it is, especially if you wanna make your truck a little faster and you don't wanna go spend, like these gears, like these gears, these narrow gears, $15 for both these narrow gears. Um, this plate, $15. This drive, 15 bucks. These lug nuts, I think, aluminum ones, I think $7. Um, the titanium front axles, they're a little more. I think uh, if you do Lunsford, I think they're like $38 or something. I don't think I paid that much because these are Exotecs. So I don't think I paid near that much, but um, I think I paid like 20 maybe, 25. But they're a little more expensive. But yeah, just a few things, you know, reducing your rotational mass is key. So that's what I would focus on. Thanks, guys. Uh, like, comment, or subscribe. Let me know what you think. If you got any ideas on any videos you want me to get into or something to kind of help.